guys so today I'm gonna be finally doing a video on my PCOD story how I dealt with it what it is and everything regarding to that so there are a few things I would like to clear out before starting this video so that we are sort of on the same page firstly this video is gonna be slightly long because I have a lot of stuff to cover I don't want to skip on to anything because I want this to be a really detailed and intricate video so if you are not a fan of long videos you can click that close button and you can exit out of this video and skip it or you can grab something to eat like or drink like popcorn and tea or anything and you can watch this video while you're eating so you're like multitasking which is a great thing so yes firstly that secondly I am no health expert for that matter I haven't even studied biology post 10 standard but these are the things that I've learned with experience and time I have dealt with PCOD for the last five years so yes, I have sort of experience in this area. So just clearing out if I make any biological error, please ignore that because these are just the practical things that I've done in my life. So yep, yeah, that. And thirdly, this video is not to gain sympathy that oh look at her, poor girl, she has some health issue, let's sympathize with her. No, I don't want any sympathy. This video is basically to uh, sort of educate girls out there i see a lot of young girls who are not at all educated about hormonal changes or bodily changes that occur and people around them or um, you know just everyone around them tends to hush it down i feel hormonal changes are not something to be hushed they are something to be educated upon a person should know what his or her body is about and what consists of it and what is going inside it so i definitely feel hormonal changes is one thing people need to talk more about need to educate each other about so yes it took me almost two years to come onto camera and talk about pcod in detail as well because I think now I have reached that sort of maturity level where I do not care what others are going to be thinking or talking about because I know that a lot of my relatives do watch my videos as well and for the two years I have been thinking you know what will they think and what will they say and now I'm like what they think what they say is their issue and if you also have any hormonal changes or PCOD issues or anything of that sort it is not your fault it is not something that was in your hands you did by mistake and it happened it is something very normal it can happen to anyone i just talked to my doctor uh, day before yesterday and even she was going on like how hormonal change is not even a disease now because it's so rampant and it's almost in every other person so it's not even a disease that it's just so rampant now so yes clearing those things out and now I'm going to be talking about my PCOD story first and then I'm going to move on to how my tips and tricks, how to deal with it and everything of those sorts. Starting off with what PCOD stands for, PCOD particularly means polycystic ovary disorder. It can also be termed as PCOS which means polycystic ovary syndrome. So what these terms mean, poly means multiple, so there are multiple in number, the cysts are multiple in number, cysts are sacs filled with fluid, so they can happen anywhere, there's cystic acne as well, which means you have acne over your face, which are uh, filled with some fluid, so they are sacs of fluid, so yes, cysts are basically sacs of fluid, any fluid, it can be water, it can be some bodily fluids as well. Hopefully everyone would know what ovaries are, they are reproductory systems found in female body, which has the female egg which gets released due to which we get our periods or which we can conceive because of so ovaries are that and disorder and syndrome are the terms given to the disease that we can face so with that done and kept aside i'm going to move on to my pcod story and how i dealt with it and some tips and tricks at the end so I was detected with PCOD five years ago in 2011, um, around September-ish or October, I'm not really sure about the month because it's been five years, so oh, come on, give me that much. Essentially what happened was that my mom was suffering from a severe acne issue on one side of her cheek. So she was visiting this dermat for medication and everything and this one time I accompanied her and the doctor just went away like, you're fat, you have some sort of hair growth on your face and you also seem to have some problematic areas so i think you should get an ultrasound done for pcod so i was diagnosed by a dermat because a lot of time pcod symptoms come directly on your face and your body 
body always gives you all the correct signals to get yourself checked it is just us who tend to ignore them so i'm going to be talking about the symptoms and everything after my story as well so keep on watching for that as well so i got myself ultrasounded if that's a word so i got my ultrasound done i got my hormonal test done and he was correct i was detected with pcod although it was really mild but it was there so i had cysts on my ovaries and um what I did right away was that I went to my childhood doctor, my family doctor. She's a homeopath doctor. Another thing I would like to say is if you are detected with PCOD or any sort of a hormonal issue, I would suggest you to go to a homeopathic doctor rather than an allopathic doctor because an allopathic doctor would straight away put you on hormonal pills, which essentially destroy your body even more because they're making your body prone to function due to those pills so your body would forget the natural course of how to function when to release the eggs when to have your periods and everything and it will depend on the pills and once you leave those pills your body is going to go into a shock like oh my god i do not know how to function i need those pills and you will have all sorts of symptoms of different things you can gain weight you can have acne you're gonna have everything back again from pcod so i would highly suggest that you go to a homeopathic doctor first rather than an allopathic doctor so yes coming back so i went to my homeopathic doctor and she told me to lose weight now weight and pcod are really closely connected you do not know what can trigger the other sometimes weight gains leads to cysts developing on your ovaries and sometimes cysts being there on your ovaries leads to weight gain in my case i am i was i got never too sure what leads to what because i was always on a chubbier side but it was only after when my grandfather passed away that my weight it was like this it uh, I gained weight like this and that is also another reason for PCOD to occur stress once my grandfather passed away I was under a lot of stress and I was really uh, emotional and everything so all of those things can lead to PCOD as well people who are thin can also have PCOD simply because they might be under some sort of stress or emotional turbulence it is not that weight gain is you know if someone's fat they will have PCOD or PCOD will lead to weight gain it generally does but exceptions are always there so as I was saying due to emotional turbulences and stress I gained a lot of weight and that made my doctors worry a lot for me because being chubby and then being fat and obese are two different things and there was also some sort of hair growth on my face which wasn't earlier there my face used to be clean and now it got like small bouts of acne here and there so my doctor suggested me to lose weight because losing weight when your PCOD is linked to weight gain is the only way to get rid of PCOD. PCOD can develop again and again, it can reoccur like it has in my case but it can go away as well with regular workouts and not stressing too much about anything. So yes, that happened. It was only once my doctor told me to lose weight because of PCOD that I actually went on to losing weight. It was my health issue. This was my health issue. And that's why I always say it's better to be healthy rather than to be skinny or thin. So that's why I lost weight. Now coming back to how PCOD struck me again. My nanny passed away last year and a lot of you guys know this. And again, that same emotional turbulence, stress, emotional eating and everything. And it struck me again so once I was completely fit my hormonal tests were good everything was back on track my body was functioning really properly my nanny passed away and there it went again I gained weight I had more acne I started to have hair growth on my face and I started to feel unfit I started to gain weight this video is also for everyone who are constantly telling me that you have gained weight yes I have and you know what even with all sorts of exercise control on my diet I do not have any control over it simply because my body is not letting me take control over it and for people who've been telling me that you've ruined your face with makeup well maybe you're not too sure that acne also occurs due to hormonal imbalances a lot of people who do not even use makeup on their face take religious care of their face can still have acne just because of hormonal issue i am going to be talking about pimples hair growth and everything in a while and how they can uh, tell you that you might be suffering from pcod in a while but before that i will complete my thing 
so for people who are telling me that I ruined my face it is because of hormonal imbalances I know I have been saying that I have allergies and this and that but that was simply because as I said in the starting of this video I wasn't really confident and sure if I can do this video if I can go out and say you know what I have hormonal imbalances and you know what it's not my fault it, it's nothing to do with how I am as a person and it's not such a halabaloo thing that you know oh my god she has hormonal imbalances no it is very normal it can happen to anyone so now because I'm that on that maturity level I can go out and say I have acne I have pimples simply because I have hormonal imbalances I'm a PCOD patient so yes that and um, so that's why I gained weight and every symptom came back so I went back to my doctor and she got me tested and everything and it was right my hormones were going crazy and she told me to come on to medication again and try and exercise more what than what I was doing more to make sure that I lose weight because when PCOD strikes you because of weight gain or weight gain occurs due to PCOD your metabolism drops way down than what it should be and also your testosterone goes up so there are numerous hormones in our body but two hormones that are directly and proportionately linked to PCOD are estrogen and testosterone there's another progesterone that is linked to it but I wouldn't go into that because that is way too biological for a normal video so estrogen is female hormone and testosterone is male hormone we have both of them in our body yes we do have male hormones in our body as well so what happens when you get a uh, PCOD is that your estrogen drops down and your testosterone goes up and that is why you have facial hair growth as well. People have thick hair growth on their chins, on their cheeks and everything. That is because your male hormones are way above than what they should be and that is why you are getting male hair growth over your uh, cheeks and chin area. So that is one symptom that your body gives as soon as you get hair growth or something you should get your uh, hormones checked i'm sorry for the cooker noise in the background food is cooking so i'm really sorry for that as soon as you get some sort of hair growth in abnormal areas you should get your hormones checked and see that maybe your testosterone is way too high than what should be and then you should consult a doctor accordingly that is one symptom that our body gives moving on to the next symptom which is acne or pimples if you have a general hormonal change in your body you would generally have pimples on the chin area or on the jawline which is this area if you have acne on one particular side then it is a reason to get stressed and get yourself checked because if you can see my right side it has a lot of acne right now it is not dying now because I am on medication now but still you can see the marks it is way more than what is on my left side you know why this happens because my right ovary has cysts my left ovary doesn't have cysts we have two ovaries so yeah my left uh, my right ovary has cysts and this is the way of our body to tell you guys that listen up something is wrong with your body get yourself checked so my right ovary has cysts on it and that's why my right side has been more active and uh, acne prone than my left side so that is another symptom that your body will give to you you just have to listen to your body third symptom is weight gain of course because as I said your metabolism drops way down than what it should be and that will lead to weight gain then fourth system is irregular periods because there are cysts on your ovaries egg doesn't get released on time or doesn't get released at all if you have irregular periods you should get yourself tested with a doctor touch wood in my case my periods never got irregular which was a very big pro because once your periods go irregular then your body is gonna go all harab blue it's gonna be like oh my god i cannot function so as soon as you have any irregularity in your period which is not what you expected if you have conceived then it's a different thing but if there's something if you haven't conceived and your body is just not having periods then you should get yourself tested because it can be that you have pcod so those are the four most common symptoms for PCOD. Now why it is important to treat PCOD? Because of one most singular important issue according to me that is you can have problems in conceiving. Yes, that is true. Even though it is so rampant, everyone has hormonal changes and that is why people nowadays have been going so much 
for IVF and things like that because hormonal changes and PCOD do lead to problems in conceiving I'm not saying it's gonna get impossible no but you can have problems because as I was saying if your eggs doesn't get released on time there will be problem in conceiving so make sure if you are detected with PCOD you treat it with utmost care secondly all the issues that I've said hair growth acne weight gain are also due to PCOD so you need to treat it in order to get clearer skin hair free skin and a more fit body so yes those are what PCOD can lead to now coming to how to deal with it first and foremost get yourself tested that only when you get it diagnosed can you properly treat it the level of PCOD that you have will determine what sort of medication you should go for in my case it was detected as a very mild PCOD so my medication was mild as well next you need to exercise daily no matter what no matter if you're thin or fat or whatever you are you need to exercise daily in order to get rid of those cysts exercising is the only way you can actually treat PCOD I do not understand the people who are once detected with PCOD and still tend to say oh I have PCOD and that's why I'm fat and do nothing about it you can take XYZ amount of medicines for it but until and unless you move your butt and you exercise it's not gonna heal up on its own so trust me guys if you have PCOD you have to exercise there is no other option for you so go ahead and exercise that is the only way actually to treat it there is no other way the cysts do go away on their own but they can come again if you either stop exercising or take a lot of stress in my case a mix of both of this happened I, ha I was under a lot of stress and my exercise got irregular I didn't stop doing exercise but it got irregular and that's why my PCOD triggered again so now I am back again on my track to fitness I have been irregularly exercising and walking and doing everything eating healthy but you have to remember you have to exercise so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you in some or the other way if you do know someone with PCOD do not forget to share this video with them because it's really important to spread information and education about hormonal changes and PCOD because I feel a lot of young girls, young girls specifically, are uneducated about it. And that is why I feel that if I had someone to tell me all of this when I was 14, 15 or 16, then my life would have been completely different maybe. So yes, with that I finished this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did then do not forget to comment and subscribe as well. All of my social media is as usual in the bottom part for you all guys to check out. And I will see you guys after tomorrow. Till then take care. Bye.